Kate Milliken, and I have been living with MS since 2006. Today, I am in Amsterdam at the Ectrums Actrums Conference, which is the largest conference in the world for MS. There are over 7,000 researchers and scientists who are here to discuss their progress in creating a world free of MS. Today, we're going to be talking to Dr. Timothy Kutzi, who is the Chief Research Officer at the National MS Society. We're also going to be talking to Julie Stachowiak, who is a blogger for About.com and a journalist. She'll be blogging about this event. Let's go. Talk to me a little bit about some of the attendees that are here today. It's the whole range from medical students to uh, senior researchers who are doing clinical trials in MS. Um, and I'm excited because we have the whole range of people who work from immunology to exercise and rehabilitation, quality of life, and, the, and those doctors who are bringing us the new treatments for people with MS. As somebody who has been involved with the MS world for a while, would you say this is an especially exciting time in the world of science? Definitely. I think today we know more about MS than we ever did before. And now we can start actually becoming very precise about how we treat MS so that we can specifically target the immune system or perhaps think about repairing the nervous system and even take to that next generation of stopping the disease forever. Julie, you're covering this event in a blog. What would you say your perspective is um, for your blog? For a person living with MS, there you can look at it a lot of different ways, but there are exciting things in terms of what's going on in our bodies that might be a target for therapy someday. There are also very exciting things further down the line if you have a specific symptom that you're suffering with. Why are you personally excited about this conference? I'm excited about this conference because the range of topics is incredible and you get to see how MS and the research moves from the cellular level, immunology, into the mouse model, into the individual, and then on a public health level, the scope of how MS is affecting populations, it's all here. I'm coming at this primarily as a person with MS, but also as a scientist hoping to interpret this pretty dense material into information that's very readable and accessible for people that are living with the disease. It's hard to imagine with what you see behind me that in 12 hours this space is going to be filled with 7,000 people, all with the common goal of creating a world free of MS. The conference formally starts tomorrow, and so do we when we bring you the subject of digestion and how it affects immunity. So check back with us tomorrow on nationalmssociety.org, and we'll see you then.